They invest in extravagant mansions, luxury cars, and trips around the world. But have you ever wondered who this year's richest actors are? Get ready to uncover the financial secrets of Hollywood's top actors. Tom Hanks Tom Hanks is one of the names on Hollywood's richest list. The amount that Tom Hanks received for each film grew as the productions in which he participated began to be successful and also according to the negotiation made for each performance. In 1984 with the film Splash, for example, it is estimated that he received a mere $70,000, but from then on, his fee only grew exponentially. According to some sources, it is estimated that he received about $1,750,000 for Big, $18,000,000 for The Da Vinci Code, $40,000,000 for Saving Private Ryan, $50,000,000 for Angels and Demons, and up to $70,000,000 for Forrest Gump. This was because the production of the film had exhausted its budget and Hanks accepted to work without a guaranteed fixed salary, instead for a percentage of the profits. And since the film was a huge commercial success, he was able to cash in that gigantic figure. And all this huge paycheck he gets for every performance is just a reflection of how commercially successful his films are. To have an idea, summing up the films in which Tom Hanks has participated, the amount collected at the box office of them all together exceeds the small sum of $10 billion, a gigantic amount that puts him among the 10 biggest actors in the world at the box office. And while no one knows exactly the true size of Tom Hanks' wealth, some sources estimate that currently, at the peak of his 66 years of age, he has already amassed a net worth of over $400 million. Tyler Perry Perhaps Tyler Perry is the richest man in the movie business. Some sources estimate that even before he released his first film, he dominated the theater selling over $100 million worth of tickets to his famous play, I Know I've Been Changed. His most famous creation in the movies, however, is his film franchise in which he plays the smart little lady Medea. Over the course of 17 years, Perry has released 14 Medea movies. They may not have been a big hit by Hollywood standards, but together they grossed more than $670 million at the box office and earned $290 million in fees and profits. The Rock the Rock, on the other hand, is considered one of the most successful actors in the world. In his prime wrestling in WWE, The Rock's salary reached the million-dollar figures, with sources estimating that he'd even made around $5 million a year. But it was as a Hollywood movie actor that Dwayne Johnson really made his money. To get a sense of figures, it is estimated that he received about $5,500,000 for The Scorpion King, $9,000,000 for The Other Guys, $10 million for Fast and Furious 6, $12,500,000 for The Rundown, $14 million for Central Intelligence, $15 million for Furious 7, $20 million for Hercules, $22,500,000 for Black Adam, $23,500,000 for Red Notice, and some $25 million for San Andreas. And it's no wonder that The Rock has been considered the highest paid actor in the world multiple times, with his peak being in 2018 when it was estimated that he was paid around $124 million for the year, becoming the highest paid actor of all time. And while no one knows exactly how wealthy The Rock is, many sources estimate that Dwayne Johnson has a net worth of approximately $800 million. Tom Cruise Tom Cruise is another actor who saw his salary grow at the same rate as his films became successful, and he became more and more well-known in the film industry. To give you an idea, his first hit Risky Business earned him only $75,000, but from then on, his income has been growing more and more. It is estimated, for example, that he received about $500,000 for Legend, $2 million for Top Gun, $3 million for Cocktail, $9 million for Days of Thunder, $12 million for A Few Good Men and The Firm, $13 million for Far and Away. But without a doubt, it was in the Mission Impossible film series where he really made his money, as the trilogy became one of the biggest commercial successes of all time. In Mission Impossible I alone for example, Tom Cruise received a sum of approximately $70 million. The films in which the actor earned the most money in his career was starring in Mission Impossible 2 and War of the Worlds. To get an idea, 
It is estimated that Tom has received a cash of over $100 million in each of these productions. There is no doubt that his role playing the agent Ethan Hunt in the Mission Impossible franchise was largely responsible for his financial success. That performance was responsible for putting him at no less than the top of the ranking for the highest cumulative salary any actor has ever received for a single role. And one of the main reasons he gets so much money for each production is that Tom was responsible for producing many of his own films, being one of the founders of Cruz Wagner Productions and also being a partner in the production company United Artists. And although nobody knows exactly how much his net worth is, some sources estimate that nowadays Tom Cruise, being around 60 years old, has already accumulated a net worth of approximately $600 million. Not bad, is it? Robert De Niro Although Robert De Niro has other sources of income, the main reason for his huge success is his work as an actor. The amount Robert received for each performance grew as his films became successful and his name became known in the film industry. In his first film, for example, some sources say that the actor was paid only £32 at the time. Already in one of his first successes in 1970 SIXS Taxi Driver, the amount rose to $35,000, which was considered a great amount at the time. From then on, the actor's salary grew exponentially, reaching million-dollar figures. According to some sources, it is speculated that he received about $200,000 for The Last Tycoon, $6 million for Sleepers, $8 million for Analyze This, $13.5 million for Meet the Parents, $14 million for Ronin, $15 million for The Score, $17.5 million for Showtime, and up to $20 million for Little Fockers. And adding up all the money Robert makes from his ventures, there is no doubt that he has already amassed a lot of money. Although nobody knows exactly how much his fortune is, some sources estimate that adding up all his sources of income, Robert De Niro has already amassed a net worth of $500 million. Adam Sandler Even though he lives a discreet life away from the spotlight, Adam Sandler has already amassed a huge net worth. Today he is considered one of the richest actors in the world. But it took a long time for him to reach this level, as his financial earnings grew much like the way his movies did, slowly starting to become more successful as he became more known in Hollywood. To get an idea of his income, he received for example, $1,760,000 for 1995 Billy Madison, $2,600,000 for 1996 Bulletproof, $8,400,000 for 1999 Big Daddy. From there, he managed to sign a million-dollar contract with Sony Pictures that entitled him to a base salary of $20 million per film plus a percentage that ranged from 20% to 25% of the profits from his productions. His revenues have grown so much that in the film anger management alone, for example, he received more than $60 million in total, an astronomical amount that put him among the highest paid actors in the world. In 2014, Adam Sandler signed a new million-dollar contract, but this time with streaming giant Netflix, where he committed to produce four movies in exchange for a fee of approximately $260,000. And this partnership seems to have given the company a lot of financial return, since in 2017 the contract was renewed for the production of four more films. However, this time, the value of the contract was not revealed. And all this money he receives for his movies is just a reflection of the return he brings in, since, adding up all the movies he has starred in, he has already exceeded the figure of $3,200,000,000. And because he is such a successful actor in his profession, there is no doubt that Adam Sandler has managed to amass a huge net worth. Although no one knows for sure how much money he has accumulated over the years, according to estimates, Adam Sandler has a fortune of around $440,000,000. Kevin Hart Kevin Hart, for example, has already earned a lot of money in his career. Only with his stand-up shows, for example, he can fill auditoriums with thousands of paying spectators, making up to millions of dollars in just one show. It is estimated that by adding up all the shows on his last tour, Kevin made more than $70 million. His income for movies, however, is undoubtedly the source of a large part of his wealth. It is speculated that he receives a starting salary of at least $10 million per film, an amount that can increase greatly if it becomes a blockbuster. One of his most commercially successful films, for example, was Jumanji, 
Welcome to the Jungle, a production that grossed almost $1 billion, which even led to making Part 2 Jumanji Next Level, where it also grossed an excellent $800 million. And with the success of the movie, the actor probably raised his fee quite a bit. And if we add up all his sources of income throughout his career, including his companies that employ dozens of people, it is a fact that Kevin Hart has already amassed a huge fortune. To get an idea of his net worth, according to Forbes, it is speculated that the actor has already accumulated a net worth of more than $450 million. Arnold Schwarzenegger Not to be left out of this list is the great Arnold Schwarzenegger. The amount Arnold received for each film grew at the same rate as his films became more successful and as he became more and more known in the film industry. In the first film, The Terminator, for example, it is estimated that he received a fee of only $75,000 for his performance. But from then on, Arnold's income grew exponentially until it reached million-dollar amounts. It is estimated, for example, that he received about $2 million for Commando, $3,500,000 for Predator, $11 million for Total Recall, $12 million for Terminator 2, $15 million for Last Action Hero, $20 million for Jingle All the Way, $25 million for The Sixth Day, $35 million for Terminator 3. His biggest salary, on the other hand, was for the movie Twins, because he agreed to receive absolutely no fixed salary, but in return he would receive a nice percentage of the box office sales profits. And because the film was such a success, it is estimated that Arnold was paid over $40 million. But Arnold also earns big bucks through other businesses. Schwarzenegger has already revealed, for example, that he made his first million at just 25 years old by investing all the money he made from bodybuilding events by buying old real estate, renovating it, and selling it for a much higher price. And his passion for real estate seems to continue to this day, as when he needed to disclose the information required to run for governor, it was revealed that he invests in more than 100 companies, many of them in real estate. Because Arnold Schwarzenegger is a man with a passion for bodybuilding and a great businessman at the same time, he decided to unite these two passions and create one of the biggest fitness events in the world. Known as the Arnold Sports Festival, it is an annual multi-sport event that features competitions in some weightlifting sports, such as bodybuilding and strength athletics. This famous exhibition ends up gathering hundreds of thousands of people every year to watch and honor the best athletes in this industry, which ends up attracting dozens of sponsors willing to invest a lot of money. To get an idea of the dimension of this event created by Arnold, it is considered the biggest multi-sport festival in the world, and according to some sources, it can gross over $54 million in just one weekend. And while no one knows for sure just how wealthy Arnold Schwarzenegger is, some sources speculate that, adding up all the money he has earned throughout his career, his net worth is estimated to be around $450 million. Mel Gibson Considered one of Hollywood's most successful celebrities, Mel Gibson has amassed an enormous fortune over the course of his career. But things weren't always easy for him. In his first successful film, Mad Max, for example, it is estimated that he received only $15,000, seeing as his name was not yet well known in the film industry. From then on, his salary grew exponentially until it reached million-dollar figures. According to some sources, it is estimated that he received about $500,000 for The River, $1,200,000 for Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, $1,500,000 for Chicken Run, $10 million for Lethal Weapon 3, $15 million for Maverick, $20 million for Ransom, $25 million for Signs. But nothing compares to the amount of money he received in The Passion of the Christ, that's because through his production company, Icon Productions, he decided to invest $45 million from his own pocket in order to produce the film, since he wasn't getting enough funding for his project. This led to him having a large percentage of the profits of the film, which ended up being a real box office success. His profit shares alone earned him over $400 million. And to give you an idea of how powerful and wealthy Mel Gibson is, in 2011 it was reported that his net worth was approximately $850 million, but he ended up losing half that amount in his divorce settlement with his ex-wife Robin Denise Moore, which at the time was considered the largest celebrity divorce settlement in history. Currently, although no one knows exactly how wealthy the actor is, 
we can estimate that after a decade of work, Mel Gibson must have amassed a net worth of at least $500 million, which could have been much higher if he was still married. Jackie Chan Jackie Chan, for his part, is one of the few Oriental actors who have managed to transcend cultural boundaries and achieve great success in the West. In 1998, with the film Rush Hour, for example, he became a household name in the American film industry, grossing more than $130 million in the United States alone. However, adding up all the films in the Rush Hour franchise, more than $845 million has been grossed at the box office globally. To get an idea of how relevant Jackie Chan is to world cinema, it is estimated that if you add up all the movies he has acted in, he has already surpassed some unbelievable $5 billion at box offices worldwide. And it is no wonder that he is always present in the list of the world's highest paid actors. In 2015 alone, for example, he is estimated to have made over $50 million in the year. 2016, meanwhile, was his most lucrative year, coming in at number two on the list of the world's highest paid actors, with estimated earnings of $61 million, second only to The Rock. And because he has received so much money for so many decades, Jackie Chan has managed to amass a gigantic net worth estimated at about $400 million. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.